I'm intrigued by your answers to all of these questions because you are Indeed. a renowned Tory supporter and donor and I know you are particularly unhappy about what the government's done about tax-free shopping. So first of all, tell me about that campaign. Well, on tax-free uh, shopping, um, all the other European countries give, uh, give a, a rebate on VAT on uh, retail expenditure. Yes. Uh, in this country, Rishi Sunak changed that as soon as it, when he became Chancellor. So we did not, we do not give a rebate. As a result, a lot of people, tourists who would come to London and the UK, go to Europe instead uh, and spend their retail money there. So not only are we losing out on retail expenditure, we're also losing out on hotels, restaurants, and 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 theatres. Um, Global Blue, which is a uh, expert in duty-free shopping recently did a survey which shows that uh, with American visitors who are the most important in this area, Britain got back to 100% of 2019 level of expenditure, yeah. but uh, Spain was 176%, Italy 190 and France 226%. With the G, uh, GCC countries, uh, uh, the, the um, Middle Eastern world mostly, uh, we were at 64% of, uh, of 2019. France was at 126%. So what's going on here? I so, mean, is this a government-owned goal again on business? Yes, yeah, so they're completely shooting in, uh, itself in its, uh, uh, the country in its foot. And uh, it's typical of short, the short-termism outlook of the Treasury. So, look, I keep on banging on about this hundred grand you gave Boris Johnson. Do you regret giving him that money now? No, I don't regret uh, giving him that money because J Boris Johnson uh, got Brexit to happen, uh, uh, although not much has happened since. Well, quite, yeah. Uh, the, the, and also won a huge majority in an election, which would have enabled the Conservative Party to do a lot of things it should have done, which it hasn't. But uh, there was some coverage that... I got the impression, I think it was in The Guardian of all places, that you felt quite let down by Johnson. You don't no, think he delivered know, on his well, promises? Well, I wouldn't believe anything The Guardian says about well, me. The, 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 uh, no, I mean, I think, I think actually the way he was got rid of was quite disgraceful. Uh, I think he, um, he lost his way a bit. I, mean, the, I thought he'd get a good team around him to, to run the country properly. He wasn't able to do that. And... Uh, you know, he did that in London when he was mayor of London. I thought the same thing would happen now. But we're driven, we're driven by a sort of treasury orthodoxy in this country. What Liz Truss wanted to do was completely the right thing. And we've mm. got to get back to an idea of actually creating growth in this country. Labour talks about it, but all it's going to do is increase expenditure and raise taxes, yeah. taxes further. Raising uh, corporation tax to 25% was one of the most disgraceful things things a, a conservative government's ever done. It's going to damage the long-term growth of the economy. It's going to prevent people investing in this country. Re, uh, freezing the tax thresholds uh, was, was an affront to uh, a tax rise by any other name. Yeah. And, and reducing, reducing the threshold for the top rate of tax, 125,000 a year, it's going to disincentivise the whole of middle management in, in the UK. I and mean, what if I take not, the these contrary? These are not conservative policies. Okay, so what if I take the contrary sort of Angela Rayner view that, well, you would say that because you're a multimillionaire businessman and you're representing the 1%. You know, should no, the conservative. There's nothing to do with me. I'm not thinking about myself. But the rich can look after themselves. The rich can go and travel anywhere they want and live anywhere they want yeah. in the world. They don't have to stay here and pay taxes. And Labour's idea that abolishing non dom status, no one's going to leave. People are already leaving with the th thought of that happening. Uh, it's nothing. It's, I'm thinking about middle management, the people who work in my company, the people who strive hard to, 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 earn, to earn a living. Uh, they're being disincentivized. A lot of the reason why people haven't come back to work is that taxes are too high. And, and the whole benefit system is skewed to, to keep people on benefits rather than encourage them to go back to work. The marginal rates of tax are much too high. We have, we have the OBR, which is one of the silliest things George Osborne ever did, have been given godlike status. Osborne's idea was that they uh, should keep government honest in its forecasts, yeah. but it's fact effectively driving policy now. It's one of the worst forecasters in this country. Last year, it, uh, it was third worst in, in its forecasts. It's never made a forecast that's, that's been correct. And still, it's, it's, driving, it's driving policy and it's been used, 
being talked of as if it sort of has godlike status. Yeah. It's, it's completely ridiculous. So would it be fair to surmise that you're not a great fan of Chancellor Jeremy Hunt? No, not at all. I mean, uh, the, 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 um, the, 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 everything is being blamed on, on, on Liz Trust. Uh, the, the thing that spooked, uh, spooked the markets, more or less, was, uh, more, more than anything else, was uh, the subsidy on energy costs, which then was forecast to be 150 billion. We've given, we've continued with the with mm. the, uh, subsidising energy costs. It hasn't cost anything like that. Uh, it coincided with the Bank of England, maybe on purpose, uh, announcing quantitative tightening on the same day as the mini budget. Uh, she, you know, obviously she rushed at things. She was taking things much more quietly and much more, yeah. more steadily. But I mean, we have a, we had a treasury, one of the most important departments of, of government, being run from Argentina. Uh, what do you mean by that? Tom Scholar was in yes, Argentina okay, half the time. Yeah, I mean, it might have been a misjudgment on Quasi Quarting's to, uh, behalf to have got rid of Tom Scholar. Yeah, but I mean, he deserves being sacked for, for, for not being on the, on the job all the so time. So are you now regarding the Conservatives as anti-business? I mean, what would you rather? Do you want to see Sikir Starmer running the country? No, but I mean, the, of course not, because they're going to be even worse. But I mean, what's the point of having a conservative a government which, which is following policies which, are not, which, have been, which have been followed for the last 15 years and have, haven't delivered good growth? And we've had anemic growth. We're no worse than the rest of Europe, which is, which is uh, basically the same. But we have, we have a sort of social democratic government in part at the moment. We don't have a conservative government and there's no one who really believes in, dri in driving the economy and changing the system to do that. Has reform caught your eye? I mean, consider perhaps... Well, I mean, reform is a sort of protest party yeah, which will take votes from the Conservative Party and, and if it's allowed to, will grow to, uh, to the level the Brexit Party did uh, and force the Conservatives in a different, into a different direction. But would you consider giving money to reform? Well, no, I haven't considered doing that at the moment. <laughs> would you give more money to the Tories? No, I would, certainly wouldn't give any money to Tories. They don't stand for anything I believe in, though. And let's talk about the business community in general, the recovery post-pandemic, Brexit. Some people were surprised that you supported Leave because um, you're very much a European. You've got a quite strong foreign wor workforce, not just over in this country, but in your hotels around the world. Some people might have felt that it would be self-defeating for somebody like you to support Brexit. Yeah, but because I operate in Europe and I see how it works. Uh, and, and I understand it better than anybody, than anybody here. And the sort of levels of bureaucracy and, and uh, uh, make ours look, uh, look uh, you know, fair, uh, relatively gent gentle. Although, of course, it's, uh, it's, pretty ter it's become pretty terrible here. The, the, uh, so that's the, the main reason. And also, I believe that, uh, that you know, there's a huge democratic deficit uh, in, in Europe, which is getting, where the European Union was getting bigger, bigger and, and bigger. You have a number of uh, effectively bureaucrats running, uh, running Europe. And countries like Italy, where I have a, a, big, a big investment, are sort of hamstrung by what the European Union tells them to do. They can't have an independent economic policy mm. because they're in the euro and also, of course, because, because they're uh, expecting money from the European Union. Unless they do as they're told, they don't get the money. But it sounds to me like you don't think the government has maximised any Brexit opportunities so no, far. But, I mean, we have, we've been terribly slow in getting on with things. Obviously, joining the Trans-Pacific Partnership is an important move and will benefit us going forward. All this mm. thing of it's only going to deliver 0.8% growth is a yeah. load of nonsense. It, it, that's the fastest growing part of the world. The, the European Union is shrinking as a percentage of world GDP, whereas that, that part of the world is growing in a big way and yeah. should be pushing in that direction. Final question on the CBI. Uh, it's been in the news because uh, Tony Dank has had to step down in disgrace. Should the CBI be scrapped? I mean, the CBI should have been scrapped a long time ago. <laughs> and I mean, just because there's some sort of sexual sort of mis goings on, the, the director general sack, when they, 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 uh, the various director generals have run terrible policy and taken decisions which are completely wrong, they were allowed to continue. But, but uh, it's never done, and it's always been a sort of big company 
uh, uh, big company manufacturing orientated entity. It's never done anything for the service industries. It's never done anything in my industry. Um, I won't shed many tears if it disappears. All right, fair enough. Well, Sir Rocco Forte, I hope you have a uh, very successful summer period in your hotels. Thank you very much for joining me this morning.